Hey guys, Mrs. Brown here, and I want to talk to you about the book Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. It's actually a series on Hulu now, but I'm always a big fan of you gotta read the book before you watch the series, and then it's really, really fun to talk about, so please do that. However, if you've already seen the series, I think you can still read the book and get something more out of it. The way Ng writes is just so much in the character's head. You get so much um, exposition of what they're doing, what's going on, and the book at its core is just really what it's about to be a mother, which could be a little bit older for some of you, but those of you that are big readers, I would definitely recommend this book because I think it was fabulous and a quick read because it just keeps you turning the pages. So there are two main characters, two mothers, um, Elena Richardson, who has grown up in this picturesque neighborhood of Shaker Heights in Ohio, and then there is Mia Warren, who is an outsider coming in to Shaker Heights. She's the kind of woman who has lived everywhere, her and her young daughter. She's a single mother. She's an artist. And then Elena has the white picket fence, the house, the husband, the four kids, and everything seemingly perfect that we always know that it's not. So you get the perspective of both mothers and then their children as well. And the children's lives really become intertwined when Moody, one of Elena's sons, has a little crush on Pearl, Mia's daughter, and then Elena's daughter, Isabel, who wants to go by Izzy, has nothing in common with her mother and finds solace in spending time with Mia and learning more about art from her. So the book and the series actually start with this fire, which is the Richardson's house burning down, but it kind of takes a flashback writing the whole book um, and you have to read the whole book to find out who started the fire, why were there little fires everywhere.